beautiful people. My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor. And today I want to chat with you about something that we do all the time. But when you talk to me or somebody like me, this conversation gets really uncomfortable. And that is an assessment. Who likes to be assessed? Really nobody does. But one of the very first things that I do with clients whether they're new to me or we're in an ongoing business relationship, is assessing the situation, assessing the progress, assessing where they are and where they want to go. Very often I use the natural new beginnings as an opportunity to talk about an assessment, really judging, evaluating where we are and where we want to go. That is a quarterly assessment. That is a seasonal assessment when the year changes or in our case, when we are forced to go back to school. I still have one daughter who is in high school and she's going back to school in August, which is entirely too soon as far as I'm concerned. But I'm grateful that after a year and a half of shelter in place, remote learning, we are finally able to send our children back to school safely. So with that comes an opportunity to reassess where we are, what's working, what we have learned, where we are and where we want to go. So an assessment isn't a judgment on you and your performance. An assessment is an evaluation of what has worked, how far we've come, where we've been stuck and where we want to go. You start with this macro place of vision, macro place of what is possible, macro of all the wonderful things that have happened and some of the things that aren't happening. Macro isn't just the wonderful stuff, it's also the problems. Let me define that for you. Macro can be, we want to be more successful, we want to make more money, we want to expand in our industry, that's a macro vision and an assessment of where you want to be. Macro can also be, I want to change industry. I'm not making enough money. I am not working with the clients I want to work with. I'm spending too much time doing tasks that I could outsource. Those are macro problems. You want to identify them and how you best know that you're dealing with a macro situation is that it truly is a big picture. It can also feel a little bit overwhelming or super exciting, depending on whether it's a positive or less positive thing you're talking about. So if you're feeling super overwhelmed or super excited, that is a good indicator of it being a macro thing. You want to take those big things and break them down into micro stuff. That micro is the little bits of behavioral changes that you can make, actionable actions you can take to move yourself from where you are to where you want to be. Let me give you an example. Micro is the thing you can do today and repeat tomorrow. This can be something that has to do with when you answer your emails. It can be how you start your day. It can be reaching out to one past client every single day to just check in on them and see how they've been. Micro doesn't just impact how you are behaving on your own and how you are reaching out to your client base and customer base. Micro can also apply to how you're interacting with your team or your vendors. So create actionable things that you can do and repeat again tomorrow that impacts the people you are working with, not just the people you are working for, if that makes sense. So if you are working with a team or with vendors, check in with them, ask them what is working for them, ask them how they feel successful, and be sure that you act upon the feedback that they give you. So now that we've talked about macro and micro, I want to remind you where this all started. It was about assessing. Most of the time, what we tend to do, especially amidst big changes in our lives or transitions, is we tend to assess the macro things. 
And why I think it's so important to break it down to micro is because that is where you can take action. That is where you can engage the excitement or engage the frustration. Do something that you can do again and again, and that adds up to measurable change. Even if it's small, it must be measurable. When you do this, you can then begin to assess, evaluate those micro outcomes. And the micro outcomes add up to a big change. That is how you get to your ultimate vision. That is how you actually achieve your goals, is you create micro action that you can repeat often, evaluate its outcome, and then again, act on the possibility that it presents, moving yourself toward the vision. I know this sounds very analytical, and it sounds very boring and dry and hard and like mechanical. That's the word I wanted to look for. Mechanical. It sounds mechanical, but it's really about your action. It's about you finding your strength, your sweet spot and behaving in such a way that is most aligned with who you want to be and what you want to do. Who you are and what you say to yourself and to others has an enormous impact positively and negatively, depending on where you start from. So these micro steps are designed for all of us to put into action and to begin to shape our lives better. And back to school, back to business, a new season lends itself really well to us drawing a line and stepping over that line with new intention and with better alignment into a vision and into a daily habit that actually feeds our souls, is in line with who we are and who we want to be and how we want to serve others. By the way, that is your value proposition. That is how you get to that. So go do that work. And if you feel stuck, always know I'm not here to just talk at you. I'm here to support you. So if you want to discuss this, break it down, find tangible ways to take micro action and then assess the outcome, you are welcome to text or message me. The best and most effective way to do that, so I actually get it into my hot little hands, is for you to click the link and fill out the contact form. That comes straight to my email and I will be able to connect with you and answer all of your questions. Have a great day. You got this. I know it's mechanical, but it's doable and you have everything it takes to get it done.